Hello everyone, Jim here with Barn Talk, and uh, I'm going to explain today how to set up the alerts related to dry contacts in your mobile app. These alerts apply both to the wired dry contacts inside the gateway or the dry contacts that you can use with our wireless dry contact sensor. Open your app and uh, find the gateway that you want uh, to work in. Step two is select the dry contact tile or sensor that needs uh, the alert set up. Step three, once you've opened that, uh, you want to name the dry contact. There's a pencil icon at the very top of the screen. Select the pencil icon. From there, you can enter a new name and save it. Step six is to turn on the threshold settings. This is turning on the alerts related to that dry contact. When that is off, you will not receive any alerts from your dry contact. Now we have three different settings available for uh, the dry contact alerts. Step seven here is when you wanna get notified. This is telling the app to notify you when the dry contact state changes from closed to open. If you click on closed, then you are going to be notified when the con when the circuit that's wired into the dry contact goes closed. If you have normally open circuit, you want to be notified when it closes. And if you're using a normally closed circuit, you want to be notified when that circuit opens. Step eight shown here is to notify how, select how you want to be notified. So a call and SMS is like an emergency inside of Barn Talk. This will uh, require an acknowledgement. You can also select on notification. And uh, notification is a really a push notification. It's a passive notification. There is no way or no need to acknowledge a notification. Finally, you want to select when to be notified. This says um, because we have call and SMS selected, this is indicates an emergency type of an alarm and when um, you want to be notified would be immediately this is selected as immediately or you can select after a time if you select after a time you can put in how many minutes after the state change you want this to call you this could be helpful in an auger runtime application where you might want to be notified that an auger has run longer than 60 minutes, for example. Once you've made these settings, selected what you would like to have here, we're showing um, a different setting. This one is get notified when it's closed via push notification and send me that notification after one minute. Make your selections, hit save settings, and uh, when the save settings light uh, button turns from red to gray, that means the settings are saved and you can go back and uh, use your Barn Talk system for monitoring dry contacts. Hope that was helpful. Uh, please reach out if you have any questions. Thank you.